If you've watched our previous videos on project and task management basics, you are already well equipped to get productive with MeisterTask. However, there are still a few features we haven't discussed which might make your life even easier, and we'll cover most of them in this video. If you look closely at the section headers in this project, you'll see what's called work in progress limits. These limits define the maximum number of tasks that can be worked on in a particular stage, aka section of the project. Setting smart limits reduces multitasking and helps identify bottlenecks quickly. To set up a work in progress limit, click into the section header and then type in the maximum number of tasks allowed in this section. Keep in mind, however, that MeisterTask doesn't actually stop you from going over the set limit if necessary, but if you do, you'll get a clear warning in the section header. If we go back into the section menu, you can see that there's another hidden menu waiting, and this can be used to modify the whole section and all its tasks with a couple of clicks. For example, you can collapse a section if you don't need it right now. The same thing can also be done by double-clicking onto the section icon. If you click on the icon at the top of the collapse section again, the selection will expand once more. Note that collapsing a section only affects your own view of the board. Your project members will still see the section when they open the project. The other options in the section menu will, however, affect your project members as well. Here, you can choose between moving the section and all of its tasks into another project, or reordering its tasks, for instance, by their due date. The last two options particularly come in handy for the last section in your project. With these, you can either bulk complete all tasks in the section at once, or archive all of the completed tasks. Speaking of bulk actions, did you know that you can select more than one task at the same time? If you're on a Mac, just keep the Command key pressed while you click on multiple tasks. If you're on Windows, use the Control key for this. As soon as you've selected more than one task, a bulk action menu appears in the top bar. From there, you can now modify your selected tasks, for instance by changing their due dates, adding certain tags, or moving all of them into a different project. Another feature we haven't talked about in detail yet are roles and permissions. If you're a MeisterTask business user, you can assign different roles to your project collaborators and thus limit what they can do in the project. Please note that this feature is a power-up, so if you don't see the option to change roles in this dialog, switch to the Power-ups tab and enable the feature there first. Administrators have full control over the project setup and can archive or delete projects when they're completed. Members can actively work in the project but cannot make any changes to the overall setup. Commenters can only comment on tasks, while the last role provides read-only access. Commenting and read-only rights particularly come in handy when you're inviting clients or other departments to your projects. This way, you can keep them up to date about a project's progress without worrying about unwanted interference. There are many more power-ups, integrations, and automations you can use to bring your project management to the next level. And we have dedicated videos for all of them, so be sure to check those out as well. In the meantime, the last thing I want to show you is our list of keyboard shortcuts, which you can access by clicking on your user avatar and then selecting Help. If you find yourself doing something on a regular basis, such as completing tasks or switching from project view to your agenda, you might be able to save a lot of time if you use a keyboard shortcut to do it. Thanks for watching, and look out for more MeisterTask tutorial videos.